Hello and welcome to a quick summary from our recent Leading From Home survey. Today, we're looking at the mind shifts people have faced and I shall share some of the best neuroscience hacks to help you shift more easily. Working and leading from home was new to many people and few organisations were prepared for the transition. We had to face the challenges of virtual working with little support and colleagues who were equally clueless. Those with kids at home found both the joy of more family time and the tremendous difficulties of more family time. We discovered that even with powerful technology at our fingertips, it wasn't equitably distributed, that there were standards and juggling homeschooling with endless conference calls and the nerve wracking experience of being on camera on a cranky laptop was hardly the utopian ideal seen on the adverts. We have to establish clear boundaries between what is work and what is home, often on the same table where we eat and the kids fight for laptop time. We soon discovered that our schedules were back to back video calls on a never ending deluge of new conferencing platforms and messengers and the emails kept piling in and it seemed that no one realised just how stressed we were becoming. What perhaps you didn't realise is that working virtually is genuinely exhausting for your brain and empathy, that unconscious understanding of the other person's intent and how they are truly feeling, well, it's almost missing because our mirror neurons don't work at all well in the virtual space. Empathy has flatlined in the virtual world and we need to implement CPR immediately. All of our communications require clarity, purpose and responsibility. Then, we discovered that it was down to ourselves to make this work. Now, no one was going to fix anything soon and normal well did normal had gone for good. And in spite of feeling like somebody had unplugged our motivation completely, we had to find it in ourselves to reach out, to be proactive, to get disciplined and determined for ourselves that we need to take control, even if it was just to turn the camera off every now and then and choose our priorities. We learned that we had to be a cause for something and stop being at the effect of a virus that no one understands and actually no one else knows what they were doing either. We're learning that we're all in the same storm together, but we realised that we're not all in the same boat. Some of us are in luxury yachts, some are in rowboats, and others are just clinging on to a piece of driftwood. Visit bit.ly bit forward slash LFH results to to access the full report, or you can access it from the button down below. Be greatly blessed to share this with someone or reach out to someone. They may need your help today. Be greatly blessed. Bye-bye.